At the Capitol, a bill that cuts two taxes and raises three barely scrapes by. It would shift more of the state's tax burden from non-smokers to smokers and users of e-cigarettes. And state, Sen state Senator Jim Henron says smoking-related illnesses cost state health care programs $795 million every year. The current tobacco taxes only bring in $230 million a year. That leaves taxpayers footing the rest of the bill to the tune of $565 million a year. Hendren's bill aims to fix that imbalance by giving a tax break to middle income and especially low income Arkansans, paid for by a tax hike on cigarettes, e-cigs and rolling papers. The opposition was fierce after Senator Trent Garner spoke passionately against this bill, pointing out that low income Arkansans who smoke might not be able to keep up with both the tax hike and their nicotine addictions. Despite having an outdated budget impact estimate, the bill secured a bare minimum 18 votes and now limps over to the House. A bill to stop school officials from paddling disabled children wins final passage. It would forbid corporal punishment of students who can't walk, can't talk, or have autism, or an intellectual disability. This bill now heads to the governor's desk. And update to last week's story. We brought you on special child abduction response teams. They won formal backing in the House today. HB 1674 orders state and local law enforcement agencies to cooperate instead of investigating separately when a child is missing. It also gives these special team members the power to arrest people outside their jurisdiction when trying to save a child. It now heads to the Senate. Also heading from House to Senate, a bill that would end several court battles over death row inmates. House Bill 1792 gives the state prison director the power to decide whether they are too insane to execute. It would affect those convicted of capital murder like Jack Green and Bruce Ward, whose mental health deteriorated after they went to prison. A proposal to change the meaning of the stars on the state flag dies in committee, only to be replaced by a new one that would remove the meaning entirely. Just this afternoon, Representative Doug House filed a bill to make the stars mean nothing so people can make up their own minds. Currently, one of the stars represents the Confederacy. Being brand new, the bill has a long way ahead of it.